Club Resort. Today we are back to take a look at some of the very special holiday decorations that we have here at the Yacht Club, the Beach Club, and then some new things that I heard about and we're going to confirm at Epcot. Lots to do. Let's take a look. Starting off first here in the lobby, you may recall from an earlier video, which I will link to, that the lobby here inside the Yacht Club has been recently updated, refurbished with some new furniture all around. We can still see that furniture on the right-hand side and the left-hand side and all around, but now we've got this great tree. And you may recall some of these things from past trees here in the Yacht Club. You can see us right in there. Hi. You can see we got the boats on the tree, which I have always loved with the gold, the light blue, the dark blue, the silver. It just is so, so magical. Now, as you make your way in, don't be afraid to look up. You'll see wreaths and garland around. And as we turn around here, you can see that new furniture and new layout. Now, up above, you can see more of the garland, kind of uh, at the very, very top level there. Lots of garland all around. And by the lights, we can find these nice small wreaths. And these wreaths are actually super nice with the blue, the silver, kind of that ship feel to it. You can see the uh, the gem lookalikes, diamond lookalikes. I'm sure that's glass or plastic or both. <laughs> with the gold rings right up front. But it's a great look to it as you make your way around the Yacht Club. Now here's that globe, in case you missed it last time, it is still indeed inside the Yacht Club. I know it used to be kind of in the center of the Yacht Club, but now it's kind of off to the side. I really love this spot for photos. You can see a lot of garland all around and anyone can walk up here. You don't have to be, you know, staying in this area of the Yacht Club to walk up here and see all these great decorations all around. Love it. Now as we walk out the door here, you can see there's a little bit more decorations right by the entrance. Again, with that great blue, silver, a little bit of gold on there. Just a great look all around. And as you make your way outside, you'll see more of the decorations here at the Yacht Club with that great music. You can hear it's the holiday soundtrack, which I love. Way out there, by the um, way you drive in, you can see the light posts are actually kind of covered in that garland. Love it. Now, as we walk from the Yacht Club to the Beach Club, we're going to take a look at some of the decorations between. And you'll notice a difference between the decorations that they have. So here's the blue and silver again of the Yacht Club. But we're going to make our way down here, and you'll see the difference. A wreath here, a wreath there, a wreath all over everywhere. We're getting towards the Beach Club. We're right by the fitness center, ship shape between Yacht and Beach Club, and you'll notice immediately a change to that beachy feel. So now we've got this helm here, that is what it's called, I believe, and then you've got the seahorse and some of the critters all around, including some of the stars. I mean, I really like that. I think that's a great transition between the two. You can really tell what is the Yacht Club theme and what's the Beach Club theme. You didn't think I missed that hidden Mickey at the bottom of the wreath, did you? No, I did not. Now, just for the holidays, they're doing the cookie butter milkshake. You can see they've got a whole cupcake on top of that milkshake and it looks so so good i've tried milkshakes from beaches and cream in the past not hungry for a milkshake today maybe we'll try this one another day now we're walking into the beach club lobby and you can see this is a totally different style of decor that we saw in the yacht club it's more extreme here in the beach club but i like it i like it a lot i feel like they've got more garland more trees more of everything all around feels super, super festive. Looking a little closer at some of these trees, you can see it's all about the sea life. And there's kind of a, a part of a helm kind of hidden within the tree there. There's a knot. I think that's called a monkey fist. I think that's the type of knot that is. I'm not 100% sure. Then you've got some sea critters. Yes, sea critters. Some coral, some sea stars, starfish. Lots of fantastic creatures and a great looking tree perfectly themed to the Beach Club. Now you may remember from past years, there used to be a gingerbread display here inside the Beach Club. Not this year because of uh, circumstances. Around this year, 2020, has been an interesting year as we all know, but next year I fully expect to see the gingerbread back here in the lobby. The garland up above has a very similar style with some helms and some uh, instruments that you may use at the beach or around the beach. And you've got another one of these wreaths here with kind of that, again, half a helm in there, some uh, netting maybe for fishing. Some of these glass, I don't know what they're for, those glass bulbs that are used for sailing. Not 100% sure, but such a great feel throughout. Now, similar to the Yacht Club, the Beach Club has an upstairs area. Now we're actually gonna come up here and you're gonna see more of those wreaths up here. Very similar to the style we saw a little while ago. Don't forget, they are unique. They're not all the same. They're, they're similar, but not the same. And then as you look down into the lobby of the Beach Club, you can get a feel of the grandeur of this amazing resort and the fantastic decorations all around. From 
the lobby towards the solarium here inside the beach club. Let's see if they've done anything special. Right as we make our way towards the solarium and the market here, you can see they've got lots of these other wreaths here. And I found Nemo. Take a look at all these wreaths going all the way down here. And they have that similar style with those sea creatures. I'm loving the Nemo. I didn't see the Nemo on the tree, but I'm sure he's in there too. But you've got lots of different fish throughout Seahorse. I'm loving it. Inside the solarium, we've got some great decor throughout. And there's even a Santa. Take a look. There are Santas holding trees inside of each one of these. Let's see if we can get a better angle on some of these. You can see, oh, wait a minute. There's a tree here with Santa outfits. I love that. Without Santa in them. So he's like waiting for Santa for his arrival. But then up here, we've got Santa holding trees inside these small kind of pieces of garland there. That's great. I'm loving it. But look how peaceful and quiet and tranquil it is inside the solarium. This really is one of those hidden gems around Disney. I keep talking about it, but I love it so much just because you can, you can always find a quiet spot in here, always. Need a break from the day. Come on in here and take a look around. Now inside the Beach Club Market here, you can find they've got Garland up above. This is all new. Remember, they redid all of this area just a few weeks ago. So having the Garland up there, I believe is brand new for the Beach Club. Now for those who drove into Florida, wherever you're from, just, just imagine seeing this wreath and seeing your car and saying, you know what, maybe my car looks like that, packed full, or maybe it's empty at this point because all your bags are in the room. This is great. There's a wreath inside of the store. Some very kind cast members showed me this really cool bag. You can actually get it for $73.44, but hold that thought, 30% off because it's holidays. It comes with cocoa, two mugs, the chocolate, and I believe there's something else in there. Not 100% sure what it was. We tried to figure it out, but we didn't want to open it. So you also get this bag on the outside. It is 30% additional, plus, ready for this? Plus an extra 20% for annual pass or discount. So you could basically get 50%, almost. You have to do the math a little differently, but almost 50% off of this Christmas package to maybe put in your room to celebrate the holidays. Wow. Now, one of the things that I think is awesome is that you can buy this carousel right here. I'm gonna find out for sure if it's put together for you. I'm pretty sure this one is, but there's another one at the Contemporary that is not. You put it together yourself, Gingerbread Contemporary, so cool. $45 for this one while, while the supplies last. They've got these cool trees, cookie tree, that I'm so tempted by. Look at that, guy. He's got the star in there. $9.99 for these, but my gosh, that's tempting. Comes in the box and everything. Yeah, it, it may be happening, we'll see. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to be good, but. That this, this one's tough. Just found out the carousel is indeed pre-made. $45, you can get this carousel delivered to your room or wherever else it needs to be for you to enjoy. That is awesome. I, I'm tempted. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm tempted. I'm thinking I'm gonna build the contemporary though. I wanna build that gingerbread contemporary before the holidays are over. Now off to Epcot to see some more harmonious updates. As I'm walking towards Epcot here, I noticed something very interesting. There are a lot of cast members, very difficult to see here, inside of the new area. And from what I can tell here, can't confirm it, but from what I can tell we're standing right here, they're filming perhaps a commercial for the opening. So that means they're just about done. So I'm thinking, they said 2021, I'm thinking like January maybe February 2021. When I see commercial filming, we are not far from the opening. Yep, there's a lot of equipment over there. This is gonna be great. Oh my gosh, that is massive. There is a gigantic barge right in the waterway of Epcot. Wow. Reimagining the future, Harmonious will be a stunning celebration of the global connection we all share, brought to life each night here on World Showcase Lagoon, and there it is sitting out there. You can see it out there. It is an enormous, absolutely enormous barge out there. I cannot even imagine what it's going to look like when the actual show begins, but it's great to see that they're making progress. Before you know it, it's actually gonna be lit up and we're gonna see it at night. I am so excited for that day. So many things to look forward to. Now looking at the picture here, you can see they've put in one side, just one side of this amazing display that's gonna be making its way to Epcot. So by the time this is done, it's actually not gonna be just one of those out there. There's gonna be two of them and then something in the middle, clearly, clearly something in the middle. But if we take a closer look, it looks like that's either the Moana one or the Coco one. I don't think that's the Hercules one. Personally, I think it's probably the these, these bigger ones, that's what it looks like to me, but we do not know. We're gonna find out before you know it. Great to see that harmonious barge, but when I saw the filming inside of the new area of France, it just really sparked my imagination. What is going on? Let's see if we can get an aerial view. That was awesome. I'm really glad we took this extra flight because as we went by, you could see all the actors in their positions getting ready to walk. They were like standing in different areas. They were full on shooting a Disney commercial inside of that area. I am so, so glad that we saw that. It's gonna open before you know it. If they're doing commercials like that, 
we got, I think, less than a month. I'm thinking like early, I'm gonna give January. I'm just gonna say January, I don't know for sure, but commercials like that feels like January to me. Just like that, we're in celebration now. Big transition, quick one, I know, but I wanted to stop by to do something and support an organization that I'm super proud, super proud of. The Community Presbyterian Church here is actually hosting a very special Disney cast member fair. This is for furloughed cast members who are not working at Disney, who have maybe their own thing that they're making, some art, some crafts, whatever it is, they're doing a very special holiday community fair. I think it is so, so fantastic to support the cast members in these way who have made magic for us for years, years and years. Let's go ahead and explore just a bit. You can hear the soundtrack is going here to really make it feel extra festive for everyone. Entrance is right here. Such a wonderful organization to do this. Look at the castle you've got right there. The magic is here. They are bringing the magic for the cast members. It is so incredibly wonderful. We've got the gifts. You can see all vendors are furloughed or let go cast members. So these are the cast members who have made magic for us for so many years and they are here to sell some of their very special items. Some of the things they made, something special. I can't wait to take a look. Let's go. Just before to the cast member who is hosting this entire event, thanks to the church too. This is the Community Presbyterian Church. I want to make sure I'm getting this right. We're all clapping. They've got lights donated from the Osborne family, Spectacle of Dancing Lights, and kiosks from cast members who've had 15, 20, 30 years of experience with Disney, who've made magic for so, so long. You get the idea. It's just, it's an incredible, incredible event to help everyone in our community. Let's look around. Look at this great garland. They've got different things you can have at home. Some There's some candle pieces with it. Oh, and this is just unbelievable in there. Some of these, so this one right here, the one with the candle on the left is $35, and there's even more all around to help, again, to support all of those amazing cast members. Oh. All these were handmade yeah. here, look at this, by Amy, that's yeah, so, that that's awesome, I love it. This is just really, really impressive. I love the, uh, the Santa right there. A lot of talent, I can tell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can imagine. How long did you make magic? Um, I was with Disney for four years. Four years. I did caricatures and the Well, we hope to see you there again. Uh, thank you. Yep. Every football team that you can possibly imagine is here at the very special um, <laughs> the community sale here. It's just, it's so amazing. It's hard to like capture the, in words. It really, really is. So many great designs all around. Wow. Check out the Penny Blossom color bows that we have right here. Wow, it's so cool. There's amazing art and jewelry and personalized items that they're making. Wow, I'm loving this keychains. Look at the keychains there, I love that. I just bought that uh, Disney Cruise Line luggage strap. I loved it, it looks so cool. I spoke to the cast member for a long time, worked at Disney for 18 years, and actually works with Disney Cruise Line. And I, you know, I told them, we're thanking them, praying of them, glad, and they're so happy to see us here. This is. I've just been talking and walking quite a bit here. It's just been wonderful. It's just so wonderful that we're, we're all connecting on another level. It's, it's, it's hard to describe. There's even a train. So cool. I am delighted to have supported that amazing group of cast members. I have this uh, Castaway Club luggage um, strap here. They don't have them as luggage straps anymore. It's actually one that used to be a Castaway Club gift, but not anymore. So it's so, so great that they had this and delighted to be there to support the cast members and talk to them. I'm actually going to put it in the car now. but. It's just such a great organization. I'm so glad the church is doing this and just sharing in the sharing in the magic. We're all staying positive, right? That's that's what it's all about. Staying positive and lifting each other up and so so happy about that. Right up above, you've got the bells and it looks like there's maybe like some lights in there, possibly. I'm very excited to see what it looks like at night. And then all the street here is decorated. There's garland along all the light posts and then the larger than life tree right in the middle of the street. They've closed off the street just to share in it with us. This is so, so great. I'm delighted to see it. And it's a great tree, it's super tall. Now, in addition to Christmas, right down here down the street, they've also got a Hanukkah menorah right here, right by the fountain. I'm gonna get a little closer, you're a little tough to see there. You can see Hanukkah menorah right there in the main town of celebration. On the other side of the tree here, we've got a whole gingerbread family. You can see the dad, the mom, the brother, the sister, and of course the tree right back there. They look good enough to eat, but they're just hanging out with us. We're gonna try a new restaurant tonight. I think it's Restaurant Columbia. Walking into the town of celebration a little deeper, you can see there's some really cool carriages with horses. This is just so cool. Sit inside, go for a little ride around celebration. That is so awesome. So many people all around David, Columbia. We've heard a lot about it from a lot of different friends. Are you excited? So excited, looking forward to checking this one out. You know, I've heard it's so amazing that it couldn't be missed. So it's definitely got some hype around it, which leads to that excitement. No doubt, and I, I think 
it may, from what we've heard, like be competitive with like one of the best around. We'll find out if we have extra room. Kill wins after. Maybe. And we've also got the horses over there, which I thought were awesome. Tons of people out today. I feel like it's like the community day out here in celebration, just to have fun together. And I'm glad to see a lot of people were, were by that cast member special fair. That was, that was so nice. Here we are, Columbia, since 1905. Gem of Spanish restaurants inside of Celebration. Let's go in, grab a table, and enjoy. You can see as we first walk in here, they've got a tremendous amount of like Spanish. Here's like the Spanish, almost like a king and queen look. I love that. You've got the uh, Gans Moth uh, symbol up there. Hernandez right up there. They've got a tree. They've got a basically huge gift shop right over there with a lot of different uh, bowls and cups and more. There's a suit of armor. Wow, all right, we're gonna grab a table and sit down. Now we should have known, probably should have had a reservation. That's okay, about 20 minute wait, that's not too bad, considering all things considered. We were thinking about outside, but they said outside would be like an hour wait, so it's like probably worth it to go inside. Take a look at the gift shop here while we're waiting. Look at this mug, they've got a really cool mug here, and then they've got what looks like to me, salsa picante, Some hot sauce, lots of them. There's a, there's a bunch of those mugs. And there's this one's right here, for example. It said the, um, the Essentials in the mug, $16.95. Wow, that is super cool. So we've got our table here. Everything looks great. Menus available online, super helpful. But they've also got the paper ones, also super helpful. The, they have a calamari. I just want to say that it's not spelled like calamari in the menu. So if you're looking for it, just know that it's there. Got to look a little bit and top us. But they also have what's called stuffed shrimp, J Jesse Gonzalez. I, I might be getting the stuffed shrimp. That, that just sounds so good. It's jumbo-sized Gulf of Mexico shrimp stuffed with crab meat and lemon butter. That's, that sounds like a great introduction. I will, of course, ask our server, but very excited to try everything. As far as the bread goes, this is delicious. It's a Cuban bread with butter. Just says regular butter, but the butter tastes delicious to me. Had better bread, of course, but for like a starter, like bread item that comes with your meal, it's really good. Okay, our appetizers have arrived, known as tapas. We've got the calamari. Big fan of calamari. We'll see if it lives up to some of my absolute favorite current leader, Mama Melrose. Don't forget, we'll see if it, if it wins here. We'll find out. Then we've got the croquetas de pollo, which actually sounds super good. Smaller ones there, but remind me of the cheese curds, that kind of size and style, but filled with chicken, not cheese. So we're gonna try it together, let you know what we think. Here it is, croquetas de pollo. You ready? Bon appetit. First bite, that is super good. A very kind of soft cheese with the chicken. You, you definitely taste some creamy something with the chicken. Absolutely delicious right off the bat. He brought us hot sauce with it, almost as if he knew that might be something we want. I feel right in this moment that I could use some hot sauce with this. That is delicious. With the hot sauce, it's absolutely incredible. One that I can see myself getting again. Again, it's the creamy with the chicken. It goes together perfectly, fried extremely well. This is a great, great idea by our server and by David. David was one who chose this one. Yeah, that's that's one I can definitely see myself getting again. I love it. Little correction here by David. This was recommended by you. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Delicious. Just had a bite of that calamari. Very good. Very, very good. Now, Mama Melrose is unique. I kind of got to touch on this. It's like a softer calamari. It's like super, super well cooked where it's almost like falling apart, but not. This is like more of a standard calamari. Still a great flavor to it. With the sauce, delicious lemon on there. Really do like it. Great one, absolutely great one. One that I can see myself getting again, but to be honest with you, the pollo is better. The chicken, little chicken things, those were better than the calamari. This calamari is amazing, it is. But Mama Melrose and uh, the one in Morocco, the Spice Road Table, those are a little bit better in my opinion. I'm trying to compare, I know we're doing the comparisons here, that's the easiest way, but this is really good. Our food has arrived. Dave and I are gonna split these two up. They both look amazing. First up, it's the stuffed shrimp. I saw that on the menu and said, oh my gosh, I've gotta try it. It has the Gulf of Mexico stuff, stuffed shrimp right there with crab meat. I'm so excited for that. David's got the palomilla, which sounds super good. It's got that steak there. It's got the uh, mojo, uh, crudo, I believe is how you pronounce that. It sounds super good, smells good. Let's try it together. All right, David and I have tried just about everything at this point. We're gonna start with the palomilla. It's good, it's a good steak. A little bit tougher than I was expecting, but some good flavors in there. The onion and lime juice really brings out more of the flavor of the steak, but overall by itself, a little bit too chewy. You know, a little bit too, uh, too tough. 
in my opinion, for what it is, especially when it's a thinner cut. Like that, I would expect it to be just a little bit more tender. That's me. Still good. Don't think I'd get it again. The stuffed shrimp is delicious. I really do like that one, but somehow the shrimp is actually lacking just a bit. You can taste the crab. The crab flavor is great. I'm really feeling all the crab flavor. However, the shrimp's kind of like, oh, wait, what is on the crab? You know what I mean? I feel like it should be stronger shrimp and strong crab. Both are good. Both are good. But don't think I'd get either one of them again just because I really want to try other things on the menu. The big winner here at Colombia is Coquetos de Pollo. Delicious as a tapas item. One I would go out of my way for and get again. Love that. Also the rice, the yellow rice. If you're asked, yellow, ri yellow rice. Delicious flavor throughout. Beautifully cooked. Somehow the rice is like the star. It's, it's weird, right? It's weird. But it's really good. Really, really good. Overall, definitely would come back to Colombia. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the atmosphere. I enjoyed the service. They're super kind, friendly. Whatever you need. Really, really nice. We'll be back to try new things. Ending the meal now. I did enjoy it. Kind of cool. They give you a souvenir pen that you get to keep because it came in a little plastic and you, you sign with it and then you get to keep it. It's a stylus and a pen. Super cool. Okay, David, we're outside now. What did you think of the meal? Overall, I thought it was not bad at Columbia Restaurant. I'm glad we had the chance to try some new items. I agree with you, or the best item was the croquetas de pollo. Love that unique flavor, the combination of the meats and the fried. That being said, though, not too many other items were worth noting. I would say the yellow rice was delicious, as you mentioned. But otherwise, nothing I could see myself going to order again. I'd probably try something new when we go back, but I'm not sure what I'd get. Maybe a combination of appetizers to try instead. To end the night, we are here at Kilwins. Apparently they got some holiday flavors. Looking forward to trying them. It's been a long time. Small, small item to end the night. After a semi-heated debate, semi, we decided on two flavors, the limited edition pumpkin pie and the one of the favorites, I'm just double checking, cappuccino chocolate chip. Yeah, Pumpkin pie and cappuccino chocolate chip Delicious, absolutely delicious, love these. I think it's a great combination. Pumpkin pie, especially because it's like, I think it's limited edition for the holidays. That's one I'd get again, no doubt. Cappuccino chocolate chip, also a good one, but I've had better cappuccinos. I think the pumpkin pie here is a clear winner. Yes to that, yum. I would say I've had better ice cream comparatively to both of these flavors. The cappuccino chocolate chip and the pumpkin pie were not bad but they weren't amazingly mind-blowing, and it makes me think, I don't know, some of the best flavors at Brewster's I prefer, and all the flavors we had last time here, I preferred those as well, so not bad, but I wouldn't get either of these two again at Kilwins. Overall, Kilwins, after I've had a few more bites, I, my opinions on it have changed a little bit. Flavors were good, but not outstanding. Last time we were here at Kilwins, the blueberry waffle cone, that was amazing, and others. Uh, I definitely want to try Brewster's again. Fountain's still my favorite. Ample Hills, great. You can't really lose with ice cream though, right? It comes down to the flavors and you. All delicious. I don't think I'd have these two flavors again, but I would come back to Kilwins again. And just like that, our day has come to an end. Thanks so much for sharing it with us. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. See you real soon.